For at TV, the world is thinking. On the scale, you could also answer, I do things impulsively. I try to live my life as fully as possible, one day at a time. If that's your answer to many of these kind of questions, you're going to be present, present hedonist. On the other hand, people say, fate determines much of my life. Since whatever I do will be, it doesn't really matter what I do. Que sera, sera. We're going to qual those people qualify as present fatalists. So I do things impulsively, making decisions at the spur of the moment. These, at research at Stanford, these are kids who don't, don't wear wristwatches, don't make to-do lists. Uh, gamble, uh, gamble and luck uh, rules over uh, hard work. But we all start life there. We start life as present hedonists, at the, at the breast or at the bottle. Uh, we act without planning for consequences. And so uh, uh, one of the major causes of childhood death is accidents. You know, kids you know, see something attractive and go for it and then figure out, how am I going to get down from the top shelf? Uh, but also, one of the things of childhood is, in, in most societies, we, allow, we indulge children, we let them play. And play is for fun and immediate gratification. You don't play to learn leadership skills. You play because it's fun. The moment it stops being fun, it becomes boring. And when something is boring, you stop doing it, and you, you try to do something which is exciting and novel. Um, the great thing, the, most, the singular best thing about being present hedonistic is you have more friends than anybody, because people like to be with you, like to be around you, because you're a party person, you're a fun person. You're there in the moment. Uh, in fact, you're like a child. Uh, the video game excitement traps adolescent boys in the present moment. And now you don't have to go to an arcade. Any kid who can afford 200 bucks can be trapped 12 hours a day sitting around his own, his own video game. Uh, time stops in gambling casinos where there are no, no clocks, no windows. And the people who design them want to trap you in that moment to get you excited in that moment. Uh, people will bring you drinks. People will bring you food. They just want you to stay at, at, the, um, at the, the, the roulette machine or the, whatever the gambling machines are. What's terrible about being present hedonistic is all addictions are the disease of present orientation. Drug addiction, gambling, food addiction, sexual addiction. Because all addictions are great the first time and then you die, okay? Or well, then you get sick, uh, then you go to hell. Uh, but, you know, what nobody says, I mean, it is a high to take drugs the first time. It's a high to have wonderful sex. It's a high to eat, you know, uh, you know some, some delicious, I'm thinking of a pizza with a, a banana split. Those are wonderful. The problem is when you do it the second, third, or fourth, fifth time, then it becomes an addiction. The main way we deal with drug and alcohol addiction is a program called DARE, Dare to Say No to Drugs. The program doesn't work at all. At least, at, least, at least seven recent studies done. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because it doesn't recognize their audience. The reason those programs, plus all our propaganda, all our advertising against cigarette smoking and, and alcohol and drugs, is they focus on the future negative consequence. If you do this, then here's this bad thing. And they work for future-oriented kids and people. But they're not the kids who get addicted. The kids who get addicted are present-oriented. That's the target audience. And also, all those messages focus on in, inner dispositional determinants, willpower. Um, that's not what it is. The key is they don't recognize the powerful situational social forces that, that trap present-oriented kids. If everybody else is doing it, they're going to do it, no matter what commitment they made, no matter what game they played uh, in their class to say no to drugs. So it says you have to understand who is your target audience. Your target audience is not kids. It's present-oriented kids because they are the ones who are vulnerable to addiction. And you have to design propaganda messages. You have to design role-playing that fits the way they process information. 